In a world buzzing with distractions and demands, have you ever wondered how to make each day count? How to craft a life of purpose and fulfillment? Imagine if there were simple yet profound practices that could transform your existence one day at a time. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we unravel the secrets of daily habits and tap into the wisdom of Buddhism to guide us. Think about this. What if you could wake up each morning feeling energized, focused, and ready to tackle the day ahead? What if you could cultivate habits that not only enhance your well-being but also ripple positivity into every aspect of your life? It's not just wishful thinking. It's entirely possible, and we're here to show you how. But before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's take a moment to reflect on a simple yet profound truth. Every action we take, every thought we entertain, shapes the trajectory of our lives. Whether we realize it or not, we are creatures of habit. From the moment we wake up to the moment we drift off to sleep, our days are governed by routines and rituals. Now, imagine if we could harness the power of these habits to propel us towards our goals, to cultivate inner peace, and to live with greater intentionality. That's where the magic lies in the small, seemingly mundane choices we make each day. And that's what we're here to explore together. So why should you stick around? Because in the next few minutes, you're going to discover practical strategies rooted in ancient wisdom that can revolutionize your life. We're talking about techniques backed by centuries of contemplation and practice, insights that have stood the test of time and continue to offer profound guidance in our modern world. But here's the thing, knowledge alone isn't enough. To truly unlock the power of daily habits, you need commitment, consistency, and a willingness to embrace change. It won't always be easy, but we promise you this, the journey is worth it. Throughout this video series, we'll delve into the core principles of Buddhist philosophy and explore how they intersect with the science of habit formation. From mindfulness to compassion, from gratitude to simplicity, we'll uncover the keys to unlocking your fullest potential. And here's our challenge to you, Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video. Why? Because together, we can amplify the message of positive change and inspire others to embark on their own journey of transformation. So, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and let's create a ripple effect of positivity and growth. Are you ready to embark on a journey towards a more purposeful, fulfilling life? If so, buckle up because we're about to embark on an adventure like no other. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where every day is an opportunity to weave the fabric of your destiny. Lesson one, the foundation of habits in Buddhism. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, finding peace can feel like chasing a distant dream. But what if the key to tranquility lies in something as simple as our daily habits? Welcome back to Wisdom Woven, where we unravel the threads of ancient wisdom to illuminate the path to a more mindful existence. Imagine your daily routine as a tapestry, each habit a thread weaving its way through your life. Buddhism teaches us that these habits, both big and small, shape the fabric of our reality. They're not just mundane actions. They're the building blocks of our character, the architects of our destiny. At the heart of Buddhist philosophy is the concept of cause and effect, known as karma. Every thought we think, every word we speak, and every action we take leaves an imprint on our consciousness and the world around us. By cultivating positive habits, we sow the seeds of happiness and fulfillment. But how do we lay the groundwork for these transformative habits? It begins with awareness. Mindfulness, a cornerstone of Buddhist practice, invites us to observe our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors without judgment. It's like shining a light into the dark corners of our minds, illuminating the patterns that drive our actions. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is the Four Noble Truths. The first truth acknowledges the existence of suffering in the world, while the second identifies the root cause, our attachment and aversion to pleasure and pain. Through mindful awareness, we can start to unravel these deeply ingrained habits and free ourselves from their grip. In the Buddhist tradition, habits are often compared to seeds planted in the soil of our consciousness. 
Just as a gardener tends to their garden with care, we can nurture wholesome habits and uproot those that no longer serve us. It's a process of cultivation, requiring patience, persistence, and a gentle touch. The concept of impermanence reminds us that change is inevitable. Just as the seasons shift and the flowers bloom and fade, so too do our habits wax and wane. By embracing this natural rhythm, we can approach our daily practices with flexibility and openness, adapting them as needed to meet the ever-changing landscape of our lives. But perhaps the most profound insight of all is the interconnectedness of all things. In the grand tapestry of existence, our habits ripple outwards, influencing not only our own well-being but also the well-being of those around us. By cultivating kindness, compassion, and generosity, we weave a brighter, more harmonious world for all beings. As we journey deeper into the realm of daily habits, let us remember that each moment offers a new opportunity for transformation. By tending to the garden of our minds with care and intention, we can sow the seeds of a more joyful, purposeful life. So, grab your watering can and join us on this journey of self-discovery and growth. Lesson 2 Mindfulness The Core of Buddhist Practice In the bustling chaos of our daily lives, amidst the flurry of tasks and distractions, there exists a profound practice that can transform our existence. Mindfulness. Picture this. You're sitting in a quiet room, focusing solely on your breath as it flows in and out. Sounds simple, right? Yet, within this simplicity lies a depth of power that can reshape our entire experience of life. Imagine if every moment of your day was imbued with a heightened sense of awareness, a keen attention to the present. That's the essence of mindfulness, a state of being fully present and engaged in the here and now. But why is it so crucial and how does it tie into Buddhist philosophy? Mindfulness, at its core, is about breaking free from the shackles of autopilot living. It's about waking up to the richness of each moment, whether it's savoring the taste of your morning coffee or feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin. In Buddhism, Mindfulness is one of the fundamental pillars of spiritual practice, intertwined with the concept of sati. Sati, in the Buddhist context, refers to both mindfulness and remembrance, remembering to be present, to observe without judgment, and to cultivate a deep understanding of oneself and the world around us. It's a practice that invites us to turn inward, to explore the landscape of our minds with curiosity and compassion. But mindfulness isn't just about quiet contemplation. It's a tool for navigating the complexities of modern life with grace and resilience. In today's fast-paced world, where stress and anxiety run rampant, mindfulness offers a sanctuary, a refuge from the storm of our thoughts and emotions. Think of it as a mental gymnasium, where you strengthen your capacity to stay centered amidst life's inevitable storms. By training our minds to be more mindful, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and equanimity that can withstand even the most turbulent of times. And the beauty of mindfulness is its accessibility. It doesn't require fancy equipment or hours of practice. It can be as simple as taking a few conscious breaths throughout your day or tuning into your senses as you go about your daily activities. But perhaps the most profound aspect of mindfulness is its ability to transform not only our individual lives but also our relationships and communities. When we approach each interaction with presence and empathy, we create a ripple effect of kindness and understanding that reverberates far beyond ourselves. So, as you embark on your journey of habit formation, remember this, mindfulness isn't just another item to check off your to-do list. It's the very foundation upon which a fulfilling and purposeful life is built. Embrace it with open arms and watch as the world around you begins to unfold in all its beauty and wonder. Lesson 3. The Role of Meditation in Daily Habits The Quiet Revolution Within Imagine this. You wake up, the world still blanketed in darkness, but your mind already alive with possibilities. Instead of rushing into the chaos of the day, you find a quiet corner, light a candle, and sit in stillness. This, my friend, is the magic of meditation. It's not just about sitting cross-legged and chanting Om, 
is about tapping into a profound source of peace and clarity that resides within each of us, a sanctuary in silence. In today's noisy world, meditation is like finding an oasis in the desert. It's a sanctuary where you can escape the relentless chatter of your mind and reconnect with your innermost self. As you close your eyes and focus on your breath, you create a space where thoughts can come and go without judgment. It's a practice that teaches you to observe the turbulence of your mind with compassion and detachment. The science behind serenity. But meditation isn't just some new age mumbo jumbo. Science has shown time and time again the remarkable benefits of this ancient practice. From reducing stress and anxiety to improving concentration and sleep, the evidence is clear, meditation is good for you. It's like a mental gym workout, strengthening your resilience and boosting your overall well-being. Beyond the cushion, and here's the best part, you don't have to spend hours on end sitting on a cushion to reap the rewards. Even just a few minutes a day can make a world of difference. Whether you prefer guided meditation apps, walking in nature, or simply taking a moment to pause and breathe, there are endless ways to incorporate mindfulness into your daily life. Harnessing the power of presence. At its core, meditation is about presence. It's about fully inhabiting this moment right here, right now. Instead of being lost in regrets of the past or anxieties about the future, Meditation teaches you to anchor yourself in the present moment. It's a radical act of self-love, giving yourself the gift of undivided attention in a world that's constantly pulling you in a million different directions. The gateway to inner wisdom, but perhaps the most profound gift of meditation is the insight it brings. As you quiet the noise of the external world, you open yourself up to the whispers of your own inner wisdom. It's like turning down the volume on the outside so you can hear the gentle guidance of your soul. In the silence, you may find answers to questions you didn't even know you were asking. Practice, not perfection. Now, don't get me wrong. Meditation is not about achieving some state of perfect bliss or enlightenment. It's a practice, a journey, a lifelong exploration of the depths of your own consciousness. Some days your mind may feel like a raging river, and other days it may be as calm as a still pond. But regardless of the external conditions, the practice remains the same. To sit, to breathe, and to be. Lesson 4. Cultivating Compassion and Loving Kindness In this segment, we delve into one of the most beautiful aspects of daily habits. Cultivating compassion and loving kindness. Picture this. You wake up in the morning, feeling the warmth of the sun on your face, and you set an intention for the day to be kind, not only to others, but also to yourself. It sounds simple, right? But the impact is profound. Think about the last time someone showed you genuine kindness. Maybe it was a friend who listened to you without judgment or a stranger who held the door open for you. Remember how it made you feel seen, valued, and appreciated. Now, imagine being able to offer that same feeling to everyone you encounter every single day. Compassion is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. And just like any habit, it starts with small, consistent actions. It can be as simple as offering a smile to a passing stranger or lending a helping hand to a colleague in need. These small gestures, when done with genuine care, have a ripple effect spreading positivity and warmth wherever they go. But here's the beautiful part. Cultivating compassion doesn't just benefit others. It also nourishes your own heart and soul. When you practice kindness and empathy towards others, you create a sense of connection and belonging that enriches your life in countless ways. It's like watering a plant. You nourish it, and in return, it blossoms and flourishes, filling your world with beauty and joy. In Buddhism, loving-kindness is known as metta, which translates to unconditional love or friendliness. It's a foundational practice that involves wishing happiness and well-being for all beings, without exception. It's about breaking down the barriers that separate us and recognizing the inherent humanity in every person we meet. Imagine a world where everyone approached each other with genuine love and kindness, regardless of differences in background, beliefs, or opinions. It may sound like a utopian dream, 
but it's within our reach one small act of kindness at a time. So, how can we cultivate compassion and loving kindness in our daily lives? It starts with awareness, paying attention to the opportunities for kindness that present themselves each day. It means being present in the moment, fully engaged with the people and situations around us, rather than being lost in our own thoughts and concerns. One powerful practice for cultivating loving-kindness is the loving-kindness meditation, where we consciously send wishes of happiness, peace, and well-being to ourselves and others. It's a practice of opening our hearts and expanding our capacity for love and compassion, one breath at a time. But it's not just about formal meditation. It's about infusing every moment of our lives with the spirit of loving-kindness. It's about treating ourselves and others with gentleness, patience, and understanding, even in the face of challenges and difficulties. And here's the secret. The more you practice compassion and loving kindness, the more natural it becomes. It becomes woven into the fabric of your being, shaping your thoughts, words, and actions in ways that bring light and love into the world. So, as you go about your day, remember this. Every act of kindness, no matter how small, has the power to create ripple effects of love and compassion that can transform the world. So, let's cultivate compassion and loving kindness, not just as a habit, but as a way of life. Lesson five, the habit of gratitude. In a world that often feels like a whirlwind of chaos and demands, finding moments of peace can seem like a distant dream. But what if I told you that the key to unlocking inner contentment lies within a simple yet powerful habit? Welcome to part six of our journey into the transformative power of daily habits, where we delve into the enchanting realm of gratitude. Imagine waking up each morning with a heart full of gratitude, ready to embrace the day ahead with joy and appreciation. Gratitude isn't just a fleeting emotion. It's a mindset, a way of life that can profoundly shift how we experience the world around us. It's about noticing the beauty in the ordinary, finding reasons to smile in the midst of challenges, and acknowledging the abundance that surrounds us. But why is gratitude so important, you may wonder. Well, science tells us that practicing gratitude has a myriad of benefits for our mental, emotional, and even physical well-being. From reducing stress and anxiety to improving sleep quality and enhancing relationships, the ripple effects of gratitude are truly remarkable. Think about it for a moment. When was the last time you paused to appreciate the simple pleasures of life? The warmth of the sun on your face, the laughter of loved ones, or even the taste of your favorite meal. These moments, however small, hold the power to nourish our souls and uplift our spirits. But cultivating gratitude isn't just about counting our blessings when things are going well. It's also about finding silver linings in times of adversity, embracing setbacks as opportunities for growth, and recognizing the lessons hidden within life's challenges. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to get caught up in a never-ending cycle of wanting more, achieving more, and yet still feeling unfulfilled. But what if we shifted our focus from what we lack to what we already have? What if we approached each day with a sense of wonder and appreciation for the abundance that surrounds us? Now, you might be wondering, how can I cultivate gratitude in my own life? Well, the good news is that it doesn't require grand gestures or elaborate rituals. Gratitude can be as simple as keeping a daily journal, where you jot down three things you're thankful for each day. It could be a heartfelt thank you note to a friend, or a quiet moment of reflection before bed, where you count your blessings and express gratitude for the day's gifts. As we embark on this journey of cultivating gratitude, let us remember that it's not just a one-time practice, but a lifelong commitment to seeing the world through grateful eyes. So. I invite you to join me in embracing the habit of gratitude, and together, let's create a ripple of positivity that spreads far and wide. Remember, in every moment, there is something to be thankful for. Let's start counting our blessings and watch as our hearts overflow with joy and abundance. Lesson 6 Simplicity and Minimalism Less is more. In a world buzzing with noise and clutter, where every corner beckons us with more, more, more. 
it's easy to forget the beauty of simplicity. But what if I told you that within the embrace of simplicity lies a profound secret to happiness? Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to the Oasis of Part 7, where we explore the transformative power of simplicity and minimalism. Imagine waking up to a space uncluttered by excess, where every item serves a purpose and every corner breathes tranquility. Minimalism isn't just about decluttering physical spaces. It's a mindset, a way of life that invites us to strip away the unnecessary and embrace the essence of what truly matters. It's about finding freedom in letting go and rediscovering the joy of living with less. But why should we embrace simplicity? Well, let's take a moment to ponder over our daily lives. How often do we find ourselves drowning in possessions, chasing after the latest trends, only to realize that our hearts remain unfulfilled? Simplicity offers us a remedy to this endless pursuit of more. By decluttering our lives, we create space for what truly matters. Meaningful connections, experiences, and inner peace. Think about it. When we let go of the excess, we not only free up physical space, but also mental and emotional space. Our minds become clearer, our hearts lighter, and suddenly, life feels more manageable. Minimalism isn't about deprivation. It's about abundance. The abundance of time, energy, and serenity that comes with living intentionally. Picture yourself surrounded by only the things that spark joy, each item cherished for its utility or sentimental value. Doesn't that sound liberating? By simplifying our surroundings, we reduce decision fatigue, streamline our routines, and create room for creativity to flourish. It's a recipe for greater focus, productivity, and overall well-being. Now, let's talk about the environmental impact of our consumerist culture. Our planet is groaning under the weight of excessive consumption, with landfills overflowing and ecosystems in peril. But here's the good news. By embracing minimalism, we can become stewards of the earth, treading lightly and consuming mindfully. It's a small yet significant step towards sustainability and ecological harmony. But perhaps the most profound aspect of minimalism lies in its invitation to reconnect with ourselves. In a world that constantly bombards us with distractions, simplicity offers a sanctuary, a quiet refuge where we can listen to our inner voice, cultivate gratitude, and savor the present moment. It's a return to authenticity, to the essence of who we truly are beneath the layers of societal expectations and material desires. So, as we journey through part seven, let's embrace the art of simplicity with open hearts and open minds. Let's dare to declutter, simplify, and streamline our lives, not out of obligation, but out of a deep desire for greater meaning and fulfillment. Together, let's discover that in the dance of less, we often find more, more joy, more freedom, and more peace. Welcome to the Simplicity Revolution. Lesson 7, Impermanence and Letting Go. In the grand tapestry of life, change is the only constant. This fundamental truth, embraced in Buddhism, teaches us the art of impermanence. Picture a flowing river, never the same from one moment to the next. Just like that river, our lives are in a constant state of flux. But instead of resisting this natural rhythm, what if we learned to embrace it? Think about the last time you held on to something tightly, whether it was a relationship, a job, or a belief. Did clinging onto it bring you peace, or did it breed suffering? Buddhism teaches us the wisdom of letting go. It's not about giving up, but rather about releasing our grasp on what no longer serves us. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack filled with stones. Each stone represents a burden, regrets from the past, worries about the future, attachments to material possessions. How much lighter would you feel if you could simply let go of these stones? This metaphorical backpack weighs us down preventing us from moving forward on our journey towards happiness and fulfillment. Letting go doesn't mean denying our emotions or pretending that everything is fine. It's about acknowledging our feelings with compassion and then releasing them, like letting a balloon float away into the sky. When we cling to resentment, anger, or grief, 
we imprison ourselves in a cycle of suffering. But when we loosen our grip and allow these emotions to flow through us, we open ourselves to healing and transformation. Consider the Japanese art of Kintsugi, where broken pottery is repaired with gold, highlighting its cracks and imperfections. In the same way, our wounds and scars can become sources of strength and beauty. By embracing impermanence, we learn to see life's challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and renewal. Imagine a tree shedding its leaves in the autumn, gracefully surrendering to the cycle of seasons. In the same way, we can learn to let go of the past, trusting in the promise of new beginnings. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a practice, a journey of self-discovery and self-love. Think about the clutter in your life, both physical and mental. What if you could declutter not just your home, but your mind and heart as well? Letting go of excess possessions, toxic relationships, and limiting beliefs creates space for joy, creativity, and abundance. Picture yourself standing on the shore, watching as waves crash against the rocks. With each wave that recedes, it takes away a piece of sand, reshaping the landscape. In the same way, each moment is an opportunity to release what no longer serves us, allowing us to sculpt our lives with intention and purpose. Letting go is not a one-time event, but a daily practice. It's about surrendering the need to control every aspect of our lives and trusting in the wisdom of the universe. When we loosen our grip and flow with the currents of life, we discover a profound sense of freedom and peace. In the words of Lao Tzu, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Letting go is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It takes courage to release the familiar and embrace the unknown. But in doing so, we open ourselves to infinite possibilities. As you reflect on the wisdom of impermanence, ask yourself, what are you holding onto that is weighing you down? What can you let go of today to make room for a brighter tomorrow? Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So take that step and trust that the path will unfold before you, one moment at a time. Lesson 8. The Power of Intentions and Affirmations In the grand scheme of creating daily habits that stick, intentions and affirmations are like the magic spells in our arsenal. They're the secret sauce that flavors our actions, giving them purpose and direction. Picture this. Every morning you wake up, and before you even step out of bed, you set a simple intention for the day. Maybe it's today, I choose kindness, or I am focused and productive. These intentions serve as guiding lights, shaping your mindset and actions throughout the day. Intentions are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of your consciousness. When nurtured with attention and care, they blossom into the fruits of your daily habits. But here's the kicker, intentions alone won't cut it. You've got to water them with affirmations, positive statements that affirm the reality you wish to create. Affirmations are like little love notes to yourself, reinforcing your intentions and beliefs. Imagine this, you're standing in front of the mirror, ready to start your day. Instead of criticizing your flaws or fretting over to-do lists, you look yourself in the eye and affirm, I am capable. I am worthy. I am enough. These simple affirmations work wonders, rewiring your subconscious mind and bolstering your confidence. But let's not stop there. Affirmations aren't just reserved for mirror moments. You can sprinkle them throughout your day like confetti, infusing each action with positivity and purpose. Whether you're tackling a challenging task or navigating a tricky situation, affirmations serve as your trusty sidekick reminding you of your inherent worth and potential. Now, you might be thinking, sounds great, but do intentions and affirmations really work? Well, the short answer is yes, backed by science and centuries of wisdom. Studies have shown that setting clear intentions can enhance focus, motivation, and overall well-being. Likewise, affirmations have been proven to rewire neural pathways, fostering resilience and self-belief. So, how can we harness the power of intentions and affirmations in our daily lives? It all starts with clarity and consistency. Take a moment to reflect on what matters most to you, 
then distill your intentions into simple, actionable statements. Keep them visible. Write them on sticky notes, recite them during meditation, or set them as reminders on your phone. As for affirmations, think quality over quantity. Choose words that resonate deeply with you and evoke genuine emotion. Repeat them often with conviction and sincerity. Remember, the key is repetition, like watering a plant, consistency is the key to growth. But here's the beautiful thing about intentions and affirmations. They're not set in stone. As you evolve and grow, so too can your intentions and affirmations. Stay open to change and allow your daily habits to reflect your ever-evolving aspirations and values. In essence, intentions and affirmations are like the architects of your reality. By consciously shaping your thoughts and beliefs, you lay the foundation for a life filled with purpose, passion, and meaning. So, dare to dream big, set your intentions high, and let your affirmations light the way. Remember, the power to transform your life lies within you. Lesson 9. Balancing Work and Spiritual Practice Harmony in Everyday Life do you ever feel like you're constantly juggling between your work life and your spiritual well-being? It's a common struggle in today's fast-paced world. But what if I told you that finding balance between the two is not only possible but essential for a fulfilling life? Let's dive into the art of balancing work and spiritual practice, where each complements the other like pieces of a perfect puzzle. The work spirituality conundrum. Imagine this. You're caught in the hustle and bustle of your daily grind, deadlines looming over your head like storm clouds. But amidst this chaos, there's a whisper, a longing for something deeper, something beyond the material realm. That's your spirituality calling out to you, urging you to find solace amid the chaos. But how do you strike a balance between the demands of work and the needs of your soul? Integration, not segregation. Here's the thing, Work and spirituality don't have to exist in separate realms. Instead of viewing them as conflicting entities, consider them as two sides of the same coin. Your work can be a form of spiritual practice if approached with mindfulness and intention. It's about infusing every task, no matter how mundane, with a sense of purpose and presence. Mindful work, mindful life. Picture this. You're typing away at your keyboard, but instead of being lost in a whirlwind of stress and deadlines, you're fully present in the moment. Each keystroke becomes a meditation, each email a chance to cultivate compassion and understanding. By infusing mindfulness into your work, you not only enhance productivity but also nourish your spiritual well-being. Creating sacred spaces. In the midst of a chaotic work environment, creating sacred spaces can be a game-changer. Whether it's a cozy corner in your office adorned with meaningful artifacts or a virtual altar on your desktop, having a visual reminder of your spiritual aspirations can anchor you amidst the storm. Rituals for renewal. Just as you schedule meetings and appointments in your calendar, why not carve out time for spiritual renewal? Whether it's a morning meditation session before diving into your work or a midday walk in nature to rejuvenate your soul, Integrating rituals into your routine can keep you grounded amidst the hustle. Setting boundaries. Boundaries are crucial in maintaining balance between work and spirituality. Learn to say no to tasks that drain your energy and yes to activities that nourish your soul. By setting clear boundaries, you honor both your professional commitments and your spiritual well-being. Finding flow. Ever experienced that state of flow where time seems to stand still and you're completely immersed in your work? That's when magic happens. By aligning your tasks with your strengths and passions, you not only enhance productivity but also experience a profound sense of fulfillment. The power of rest. In a culture that glorifies busyness, rest often takes a backseat. But here's the truth. Rest is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Just as you recharge your devices, your body and mind need time to rest and rejuvenate. So, don't feel guilty about taking breaks. They're essential for sustained productivity and spiritual well-being. Embracing imperfection. In the pursuit of balance, it's important to embrace imperfection. 
You're not striving for a flawless equilibrium, but rather a dynamic dance between work and spirituality. There will be days when work takes precedence, and that's okay. The key is to maintain awareness and course correct when needed. Community connection. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who understand the importance of balancing work and spirituality. Whether it's joining a mindfulness group at work or attending spiritual retreats on weekends, cultivating a supportive community can provide invaluable encouragement and inspiration, self-compassion. Finally, be gentle with yourself. Balancing work and spirituality is a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs, victories and setbacks. But through it all, remember to treat yourself with kindness and compassion. You're doing the best you can, and that's more than enough. Lesson 10. Overcoming Obstacles in Habit Formation Breaking through barriers, making daily habits stick. Creating new habits can be like trying to swim against a powerful current. It's tough. You start with all the motivation in the world, but then life happens. Distractions, setbacks, and doubts creep in. Suddenly, that daily meditation or exercise routine feels impossible to maintain. But fear not. In this part, we'll explore how to overcome the obstacles that stand between you and your habit goals. Picture this. You've decided to start a daily writing habit. You're pumped up, ready to unleash your creativity onto the page. But then, writer's block hits. You stare at a blank screen, feeling defeated. This is where many people give up. But what if I told you there's a way to push through? Meet your new best friend, the power of starting small. Instead of aiming for a 1,000 word masterpiece every day, start with just 100 words. Make it so easy you can't say no. Once you build momentum, you'll find it easier to tackle larger goals. Another common obstacle, lack of accountability. It's easy to skip a workout when nobody's watching. That's where accountability buddies come in. Find someone who shares your habit goals and hold each other to them. It's amazing how much more motivated you'll be when you know someone else is counting on you. Then there's the sneaky saboteur known as perfectionism. You miss one day of your habit, and suddenly you're ready to throw in the towel. But here's the truth. Progress, not perfection, is what matters. Embrace the idea that it's okay to stumble along the way. Each setback is a chance to learn and grow stronger. Let's not forget about the all too common excuse. I don't have enough time. We're all busy, but here's a secret. It's not about having time, it's about making time. Look at your daily routine and identify pockets of wasted time. Could you wake up 15 minutes earlier? Cut down on social media scrolling? Every minute counts when it comes to building habits. Ah, uh, the allure of instant gratification. It's the reason we reach for the cookie instead of the apple or binge watch Netflix instead of hitting the gym. But here's the thing. True fulfillment comes from delayed gratification. Remind yourself of the long-term benefits of sticking to your habits, and suddenly that cookie won't seem so tempting. And let's not overlook the power of environment. If your surroundings aren't conducive to your habits, you'll struggle to maintain them. Create a space that's tailored to your goals. Want to read more? Keep books by your bedside. Trying to eat healthier? Stock your kitchen with nutritious options. Your environment should inspire, not hinder your habits. Lastly, we can't ignore the elephant in the room, self-doubt. It's natural to question whether you have what it takes to succeed. But here's a little secret. You're capable of more than you think. Cultivate self-compassion and remind yourself that every journey has its ups and downs. Believe in yourself and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. So there you have it. The road to habit mastery may be paved with obstacles, but with the right strategies, you can overcome them all. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. Keep pushing forward, and soon your daily habits will become second nature.